Some time ago, director Martin Scorsese criticized Marvel superhero movies. This article is from the Mail Online. Martin Scorsese slams Marvel movies again and says audiences must fight back against comic book culture by supporting directors like Oppenheimer's Christopher Nolan instead. In a new magazine profile, legendary director Martin Scorsese criticized rating-obsessed cinema and slammed franchise films. Speaking with GQ ahead of the release of his latest film, Killers of the Flower and Moon, the 80-year-old award-winning director discussed his life, career, and how comic book movies have changed the industry. The danger there is what it's doing to our culture, because there are going to be generations now that think movies are only those. That's what movies are, said Scorsese. Later in the article, it says, this is not the first time Scorsese has attacked Marvel. In 2019, he said the comic book movies are not cinema, but are more like theme parks. And I think he's right. I agree with him. Mind you, this could be said for most big Hollywood film franchises, the likes of Transformers, uh, the latest Star Trek films, the latest Star Wars films, the Fast and Furious films, and the latest DC films as well. But I think DC in the past, maybe more than 10 years ago, was faring far better when it came to producing films that are genuinely artistically cinematic. Uh, speaking of Christopher Nolan, his Dark Knight film trilogy, uh, they were an example of how to make really high quality and iconic movies that also happen to be superhero films. I think the likes of The Watchmen was another example from 2009. I mean, this is another great film. It wasn't to everyone's taste, but it was certainly not a generic bubblegum action movie. But in recent years, DC on film has become increasingly similar to Marvel in that regard. Um, another example actually would be, and I talked about this film recently from 2000, would be M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable. Beautiful filmmaking, but also happens to be a superhero movie. But I think what MCU movies have always been since the beginning is a bit of light, fun, and entertainment. And that was okay to a degree, but clearly this is not the most creative or innovative filmmaking. And MCU films weren't designed to be. But you, you look at the likes of a Fast and Furious film, an MCU movie, a Transformers film. These are popcorn fun action rides with broad appeal designed to thrill and entertain for basically the duration of their runtime and not really meant to linger with you much longer after that. I think such movies are fine now and again. The issue is that they have increasingly become the norm at the cinema. Okay, so you can't just survive on a diet of McDonald's. Likewise, our culture needs more highbrow, more sophisticated, creative ideas and entertainment. The Marvel movies are perhaps the best example of formulaic, paint-by-numbers, copy-and-paste movie making that feels packaged, manufactured, and mass-produced, much like fast food. Now, as a fan of comic book movies, for the first three phases of the MCU, it was certainly a fun ride. But that ride had to come to an end at some point. Okay, at some point I have to get off the roller coaster. So the MCU, even at its best, should only have been a product of a particular period. Now, I think what's dragged it down is not just the unwanted identity politics, but that it's gone on for as long as it has. There have always been big blockbuster bonanza thrill ride movies. I mean, the Mission Impossible films being another example. But there's only been seven of those films since 1996. Whereas we've had 33 MCU films since 2008. The fast food has gone from an occasional treat to a dietary staple of cinema, and that is not a good reflection on the quality of our culture. Cinema needs more than films that feel like they're mass-produced on an assembly line. What does it say of modern filmmaking when the biggest budget movies of all time largely feel interchangeable, with similar visual effects, stock standard editing and direction that feels the same, and storylines 
that are safe, forgettable, while also being too familiar. Now, for cinema to once again make a positive and meaningful contribution to culture, it must get back to challenging audiences and challenging filmmakers. I think, as audiences, we've perhaps become complacent, expecting much the same product over and over. And filmmakers, they can't be all that challenged or excited at the prospect of making what are essentially stock standard superhero content, be it for theatres or streaming services, with very little variation. Right, a few tweaks here and there. The visual, tonal, storytelling and thematic and editorial artistry of film is seriously in short supply. Yes, there are occasionally still a few filmmakers who manage to produce some superb works, even today, such as Christopher Nolan, but there's just not enough Oppenheimers to go around. If Hollywood doesn't fix this problem, then I think it falls to indie filmmakers. And again, I reiterate that to rebuild culture in film and to see real ingenuity and innovation, I think we'll probably see that coming from independent films more so than big budget mainstream productions, which are all about spectacle over substance and which appeal to existing broader popular tastes rather than giving people something new and artistically fresh and significant. So let me know your thoughts on this subject in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.